Hi, my name is Andrew McLaren, and I want to talk to you about how to use AI to memorize any content. And I've got an example that I'm going to be talking about specific to like college chemistry, but this could be applied at any grade level to any subject area. And the core idea is that you're trying to create some sort of visually striking images for you to imagine or telling some sort of story. And if you can make it gross or inappropriate, that will actually make you remember it better. So you actually kind of want to do that. Um, this is a an ancient technique that people were using to um, memorize like the Iliad, but we can use technology to enhance it to make it just that much better. So there's two versions that I've kind of played around with this so far, and one is using large language models like ChatGPT to generate a mnemonic, kind of like NASA, uh, where one letter stands for one thing, or like NOAA, right? So we can create easy mnemonics. I've seen a ton of these used as a a teacher, like there's some pretty good ones out there, but sometimes you you can make them more personal so that, that you can remember them a little bit better. Um, or you, there's sometimes there's just not a mnemonic where there's an opportunity to make one. So we can use this in some new places as well. I've also used image generators like OpenArt. And I'm gonna show you an example of both these two things. So if we go to uh, ChatGPT, I have a whole video on me trying to like use this actually so you can see what it's like in the content but i was asking a couple questions trying to help it come up with something with boron carbon and nitrogen in it um some way to memorize it and it was just really not coming up with things that were useful and then this was starting to get close to like how about something with these three letters can you give me something with bcn and then um, I was thinking, well, maybe we could make this related to some pi because it's about two pi orbitals um, in chemistry. So I was like, okay, the word pi, <laughs> use that here. And so maybe we can get a theme going on and bake cherry th pies. I thought that was, that was pretty good. Um, and trying to figure out a couple other ways to memorize these three letters together. Um, I like having it generate a couple options for me. So I said, give me 10 others. And some of these were, were getting close, but they weren't really food themed or relating to the pie. So it wasn't really fully getting what I was looking for, but it was still generating stuff for me to work with. Um, I don't even know what's going on <laughs> because B is now completely dropped and they're just using P. <laughs> But so it's it's not perfect. You do have to read this a little bit. Um, but it this started inspiring me on some ideas on like how I can kind of tie some of these words together. Um, and like there's like crunchy or crispy and a bite. So you could get like a bite of some uh, crunchy nibble of, of that pie. Um, I think, yeah, I was going with big crunchy nibble, but you could do, say it's a bite of a of that so there's a ton of different ways that you can think about relating these letters and then trying to create that into some some way to memorize this um it wasn't perfect i wasn't happy with in the end like it trying to make a sentence it it was okay but it was just not quite there so it was a collaborative effort and it helped me kind of get some ideas for that mnemonic. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm not like a poet, so I have a hard time just coming up with word associations like that. And then I, I gave this AI, um, after I'd kind of played around with what I wanted, I gave it this description. So I asked it to make some dire name Mo when there's a crunchy nibble of two pi pi every meal. And it just made like this 1950s stereotypical looking like diner thing um, when I gave it that prompt. So it's a uh, interesting, kind of creepy, but it gave me some images and like I can think of what Moe's looks like now. This gives me something to work with um, visually to think about like the two pie pies and look that guy's got pie on his head as well. Thank you for McLearning with me. Before you go, please check out the following services that I offer with my business.
So if you click the link in my videos, this goes to my website. I might be changing it from Podia because I'm no longer doing the interactive videos for sale. I might put those up for free. Um, but most of my other services are linked here. So you can see that I've got like a Teachers Paid Teachers and a Wiseant. Um, the Teachers Paid Teachers has a lot of my assessments that I have for like the NGSS, as well as lessons that I made when I was actually a teacher in the classroom. So I've got quite a few things like CERs and other things on there. Um, if you want to get one-on-one -on -one live support from me, either like with science or like working on um, like teaching support, lessons and that kind of stuff, uh, you can sign up through Wiseant. I have a link to there where you can contact me there um, and we can schedule hourly appointments. Um, I've got a few other things on here like a Facebook page um, and our social media. And if you're interested in getting professional development with me for like a team of teachers, a whole page with information on that. So yeah, feel free to check that out. Um, thank you.